Okay, back for some more Kamigawa draft. The cues for this are taking really long. I have a feeling that maybe it's not very popular. Who knows? Um, Cage of Hands seems okay. Egg Watcher. So control 10 or more. Eh. Bone Reader. Eh. And it's a strong effect if you can feed it, but I think Cage of Hands is just generically good. I wouldn't mind Sakura Tribelder either, but... Yeah, let's take Cage of Hands. Yojin of Seen Winds. Eh, it's so expensive. Even like for like this format, which is super slow. Uh, Samurai the Pale Curtain seems okay. Um, repeat this process until that player returns. So they get first pick. Meh. Uh, this has seemed all right, but not like amazing. Rag dealer, not great. This might just be the best card. So, the fact that it happens to match the color of my first pick, fine with me. Also, this art is amazing. So, maybe I'll end up using this art for the video. That's pretty cool art. Haunted of Night's Reach wouldn't be bad. Especially because it means I might pick up another Haunted. Call to Glory. Doesn't seem amazing. Probably taking Haunted here. Kami of the Waning Moon I think has been okay if you can trigger it. Nothing else here I really would want to even consider, so yeah. Let's get this haunted in here. I think the hauntings are super cool. They put all of them in one of the Modern Masters formats, and it was actually like a legitimate draft strategy to like draft all hauntings. Or I guess all the Hondans, not literally everything in your deck be a Hondan, of course. Um, a Harsh Deceiver is what? Just 1-1? One, one? And it starts as a 1-4? I guess it's not terrible. Again, nothing else here is amazing. I guess Waking Nightmare is also okay, but I think I probably just want this. Not the most exciting. These packs have not been great, I don't think. When you're like fourth picking a 1 4 or a Mind Rot. You'd think this would like get vigilance or something like that. I guess you do get to untap it. I don't think you actually get to untap all of them, do you? So it actually can be vigilance. Oh, okay. Well, forgive me. Um, uh, Horizon Seed, possibly interesting. It's expensive, but generate. Huh. It's kind of weird. I could also just take Kami of the Waning Moon here. I guess I'm in. This potentially could be really good. It is 5 for a 2 1, not a great body. But if I get like more samurai or something, then regening the samurai could be good. And I don't know that I want to commit to black just yet. Uh, 
I don't have any legends yet. Wow, is there just nothing here? Okay, let's say I had no other picks. What would I be taking here? Kami of the Hunt, maybe? Probably not Kami of Twi Twisted Reflections. It, I'd probably be taking Kami of the Hunt. So let's be a little bit careful here about what colors I'm in. Okay, so now we get... Now the best card here is probably Cloud Skater. Uh, Distress is fine, but I don't think I need to take it this early. Sustainer is fine. I think Cloud Skater is just dramatically better than those, though. So I guess I'll speculate on a third color. Who knows what I am right now. Probably white. Although the white maybe has dried up a little. Let's hope not. Um, I think Callous Deceiver is fine. Silent Chant Zubera is not my favorite Zubera, that's for sure. I'd probably just take Callous Deceiver here. Maybe I'm blue white? Bone Reader comes back. Time of Need. Legendary creatures only. This just fixes. This is useless. I guess this is an aggressive card, but... Hmm. I might just prefer the Bone Reader, actually. Um... Order of the Sacred Bell? I mean, that's just not great. This doesn't even fly or anything. I guess it draws a lot of cards. I guess it's possible. It's not impossible, that's for sure. Um... This is definitely an aggressive card. This can ambush. And I guess we'll take the possible ambush, but I probably don't want to play it. Dripping Tongue Zubera, huh? Or Student of the Elements. I guess Student of the Elements could be good with the right enabler. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Lift to the Skies or whatever. This only picks creatures. Okay. I guess should have been red. Okay, we have Honden of Seeing Winds. That's nice. We have Fowl, which I think is fine. I do like Frost Wielder. Uh, Riftwalker would probably be fine, but I don't really want to pick it right now. I guess I'm just taking Honden of Seeing Winds. Um. Floating Dream Zibera is actually one of the better ones. Moth Rider Samurai is also pretty good. I think I'll take Moth Rider. Okay, I have a feeling I'm probably blue white. Um, I might actually even play that. Okay, so five, six, oh my gosh, this is just so expensive. <laughs> Haunted of Cleansing Fire? Okay, I think I'm in. I would have been happy with literally either of these, so maybe white isn't boxed up, but heck, this probably wants me to play Haunted of Night's Reach as well. 
Although this does start to get a little bit scary since seeing winds can kill you. Kitsune Mystic. Oh, right. This is the aura one. Not really what I want. Uh, Kitsune might be good. I guess Council wouldn't be terrible, but I think we just take Kitsune. New mask. If a player would call, each player may play cards they exile. If a player would play a card, would draw a card, that player exiles the card face up. Each player may play cards this turn. Why would you want that? I don't think you do. Uh, another cloud skater could be fine. It's probably better than Riftwalker. Need your upkeep. You may have target creature you control with. Get that or X's number of creatures. If, eh, I don't want to be doing that. Uh, Blade Master though is what I want. This is the type of thing I want for sure. This is looking okay. It's looking okay. Another Blade Master or a healer. I think I probably want the healer. Healer's ability to mess up comment, uh, combat is pretty cool. It's got all the kitsunes in here. This isn't one, right? No. How many arcane and spirit spells do we even have in here? I might not end up with enough. Right now I have like two. It's not enough to run something like this. So this may come out. Um, Lifted by Clouds is a way to get um, student of elements. Sift Through the Sands though is a totally reasonable card. I think I probably take this. I can't imagine that Lift to the Clouds or whatever is going to be something I can't pick up one of if I want. There's also that enchantment that you can use. I can't remember what it's called. This is arcane too. Of course, so is the other one. So I guess that's not a big argument, but it does make this a little better. This is too. Actually, no, it's not. The other one was the tap three at sorcery for four, which is just a terrible rate. Um, so we could take Zubera here. This gives Shroud. It's potentially interesting, right? Or five for a two, three flying soul shift. Also pretty good. Do I have stuff I really want to protect? Eh, we probably just take the flyer, right? I definitely don't have one of those now. One one flying for one. It is a spirit, so I guess there's that. Another healer, okay. Now of course I wish I had split it up. Reasonable sideboard card. Reasonable sideboard card. This seems terrible. This is one that makes you sack, yeah, okay. Three for a one three, you have no max hand size. So I did see white from that direction. So maybe I'll see blue again from this direction and I can fill this out. This is looking okay, but not great.
the legend rule does not apply. Don't think that's what I want. Uh, four. Only hit spirits, okay. Comedy of False Hope. Eh, Phantom Wings is what I was thinking about. But we also have Quillmane here, which is pretty good. I think I'm going to take Phantom Wings. I think the potential of giving this guy flying is worth it, because it is actually really impactful if it works. And I like this a lot more because it's permanent and lets you bounce something. Like, you could even use this to bounce their own stuff. Or, uh, obviously your own stuff, but I meant um, your opponent's stuff, if you have to. It's a lot more versatile. Might not have been worth a first pick, but now I have it. Okay, Opal Eye... Defender Bushido 1. Interesting. Uh, we have this. Interesting. Kami of the Honored Dead. Still damage, you gain that much life. Soul Shift 6. Scour. Nope. Misplayed Shinobi. Silver Storm. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff here, actually. I kind of want the uh, fox, honestly. But I think one, two, three, four, five cards would actually be good here. Okay, let's take this. All this damage prevention, I think, will be really nice. Uh, Shimmering Glass Kite is pretty decent. So let's take that. I'm a little bit heavy on fours. Could use some three drops. Is there anything in here that I wouldn't want to main deck? Is main decking Diviner okay? Probably. It's probably enough running around to make it worth main decking. And it is a free tapper, too. Uh, so here we're looking at Calvary, meh, Waxmane. Waxmane's probably actually fine. And it's a three drop, the spot I'm looking to fill. I don't have a ton of enablers, but I probably have enough. What am I at right now? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. It's enough to play it, I think. Uh, Moonlight Strider. We also have Kami of Tadger, Tattered Shoji. Hmm. I like Strider better, I think. I know it's a four. I'm going to have to start cutting, so maybe we don't main deck this. Let's skate. What is bad here? Surely I put some things in when I was more worried, right? Well, we're probably not splashing this Honden. So that puts me back at 22. And then I put you back in. 100 Talon Strike, 10 First Strike, Arcane, Minesweeper, Tiger Player Mills 2, no thank you. Destroy Target Artifact or Enchantment. That is a strong sideboard card. Uh, apparently, I did not have to first pick this. I guess there might be a world where I play Teardrop. I don't think I want two phantom wings. I ended up with no real card draw. It's kind of a shame. Oh, Shinobi came back. Wow, gosh, tons of stuff came back. 
I'd probably rather have the Shinobi than the this guy. This guy's good and all, but this is also good. Wow, Quillmane came back. Okay. So let's cut you. Let's cut... I think I have enough to run things that trigger this way now. Um, do I actually want this? It is potentially just a big game ending thing. Indirectly. It's not like it has a, wow, another misplayed, another silver storm. Now I kind of wish I had two mist blades, but can't have everything. Do I even run this super weak combo? The answer might just be no, and this is good enough to run by itself. I mean, the payoff is good, but it's literally two cards, and this card without the other one is a two mana one one. Okay, maybe I'll run this. This looks okay. I've seen worse. And we're gonna run this with a buy stored white 10 7. Probably just 9 8. And say go. Blue does give me my looters. It's like actually seems reasonable. I will play first in this deck. Um this kinda does nothing. This kind of does something. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is Miko into Callus. Yep, so let's just go ahead and attack with Miko. And play you. I mean, I could just be curving out here. That'd be cool. They have nothing still. They could have one of the Rins in their hand. Huh. Okay, it's unlikely that any of this is going to be dealing damage in black, so I don't think I need to hold this back. I think I go ahead and look at the top card. 
Okay. Let's attack. Nothing. Let's go ahead and get the damage in. Okay. My opponent had nothing on three. Do you have something on four? Three, four, huh? Whenever a warrior controls, deals combat damage to a creature, and it is a warrior. Destroy that creature. Okay. Huh. In that case, I probably just play healer and say go. Um, so let's take a look at the top card, I guess. It is a planes, so I could just go ahead and attack. be dealt to any target, so me please. Why can I not use you? Oh, I didn't have priority. Okay, and I take nothing. Because my healers are awesome. I want to play Honden for sure. So let's just play Honden post combat. I'm going to go ahead and attack, and I want to leave this up. Okay, so they're going to make a snake and block with it. Honden. That should help me start to get ahead. Uh oh, rend? Okay, nothing I can do about that. Grafter. Okay. 
Okay. What have you got for me? Planes and another healer. Okay, so I have four, five, six, seven mana. I can't play both of these. So I probably want to play like this, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so let's take a look at the top. Honden of Cleansing Fire. Okay. In that case, the most damage they could do this is four. So let's go ahead and play this. Play my land and we will attack. They go. Yep. Interesting. So Let's block here. Oh, cancel, cancel, cancel. Let's go to blocks. I would like to block here and here. What are you doing? I'm eating this, so... Really? Okay. So we'll do this. Now you sack, and you give that? That is not what I expected. I expected you to do it here. Oh, I did forget about that effect. Okay, this happens at end of combat. Is there any reason to give anything pro anything? Um, you get a uh, pro black. In case they have sorcery speed removal, I guess. Did forget about his death touchy ability. What is this? Poskami, destroy target non black. Well, you can't kill that <laughs> yet. Honda of Cleansing Fire and Mistblade. Okay. Uh, we should wait. Um, what's on top? Okay. I have four, five, six up. So, yeah, I can do this. Okay, let's go to combat. You 
thinking of doing something in combat because I would be okay with that. You trying to kill this, for instance, would be amazing. If you don't, what am I doing? Am I ninjutsuing? I think the answer is yes. Because I can just bring this back. So, like, I still am able to use my turn effectively. They might do it now. To keep me from bouncing something. Indeed. They're targeting the shinobi. Okay. So that's just kind of fine. They get their burger after back. And we play Callus again and say go. I would have liked to have gotten the Honda down, but I think that play was worth it. Okay. Prevent some damage. No blocks. I know I'm drawing a planes first. Burgrafter's back, okay. And what do we got? Over an island, uh, two islands, huh? Okay. Um, so I think we definitely want to play the Honden. Um, am I just interested in playing the healer? Um, probably, actually. Okay. So now I will be drawing three cards and gaining four life a turn. That should be reasonable. Okay. Big attack, maybe? No. No attack. So you're going to try to see if I, uh, No. Hopefully I can kill him before that happens. My gosh, I drew a ton of violence. Okay. Cage of hands, huh? Okay, so let's cage of hands you. Are there other warriors in the field? Shaman? Shaman. And these are just snakes, yeah, so. Okay, um, huh. I think what we do now is we just take a look at the top. What am I drawing? Kuomin Baku, huh? Okay, if I attack with this guy, do I gain anything? I think the answer is no. I could put phantom wings on something. I'd rather put it on Quillmane. So let's just wait the turn. Okay. 
Okay, that's not that big a deal. No attacks. Okay. Okay, so let's cast one, two, three, four, five. And cast this. And say go. does mean I can't bounce my cage right now, which is kind of sad. Okay, what does this do when it's this way? Sack a creature and give plus three plus three. Okay. I could always use phantom wings to bounce this. Actually, what is the CMC of a flipped creature? Or, like, actually flipped. I know that we changed what double face is. Uh, CMC Kamigawa flip. I can probably look it up faster from the comprehensive rules, flip cards. I wonder if they also changed it, or if, I don't even know what it ever was, honestly. Okay. Uh, CMC convert, doesn't say anywhere. Okay, because that could be really useful to know right now. Uh, do I have time to look? Kind of, kind of not. Um, huh. Mm, flip cards have two parts. Text that appears on the right setup defines the card's normal characteristics. Additional alternative. Top half. This character is extremely use. Flip cards color and mana cost don't change. Okay. So this is a three. Okay. So I can't do that super easily. Does this have to tap? No, it just has to sack. Okay. So what are we doing here? Um, we are probably doing something like, gosh, I don't even know. I do have to kill them eventually. Um, Could put this here. I could also just use this to pop snakes off. So I definitely attack like here, here. I could put it on one of the healers. I kind of want to put it on this. Okay, let's not put that on anything then. Let's uh, just attack here. Okay.
Okay, we're gonna do a big ol' attack, apparently. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Also, they don't have anything to mess up combat. I mean, they have this, I guess. Okay. So, obviously we're gonna start with flash this. Okay. Uh, let's go to blocks. Okay, is anyone a warrior? This is a warrior. Okay, and this says whenever a warrior controls. Okay, so uh, let's go to blocks. We'll block one of these. We'll block you here. Oh, right. Non-spirits. Okay, so we'll put you here. You will go 3-3? Um, three, three? You'll go here? No, you go here. You go here. You go here. You go here. And I'm taking two, four, seven. Yeah, okay, this looks fine. So, do what you would like. I lost a lot of time looking it up. I gotta play fast. Okay. This is tap? Oh, it's not tap. Okay. So, lots of weird stuff might happen here, actually. Grafter does something. Does he just have enough to force through enough damage or something? How many can he sack? Four, five, that's 15. Well, if you're gonna be doing stuff like that, then I think you're in trouble. Spinning it up. That's good. Okay, is that it? Actually, let's do this first. Okay, remove zero. Bounce that, please. I'm gonna assume this means that you probably sack it. Okay. So what do they add? Nine, fourteen. 
plus another six. So they sack themselves. Oh shit, did they actually get enough? 12, 4, 16, plus another 5 is 21. That's actually not enough. Oh, okay. Because I also can save 2 here. Anything I need to change? Spirit or arcane spells? Not really. Do they have artifacts or enchantments? Not really. Should probably run to the bathroom real quick. Be right back. Okay, um, tapping's not amazing. They did have the ground awfully uh, stopped up. It's possible that maybe some of my flying tech could be helpful. In which case I might take out, like, let's say we put in these two, and then we take out maybe wax main. Or yeah, we can take out like wax main horizon seed or something. Uh, I am what on the draw? Yeah, this is fine. I have both colors. Luckily, I made up time with their decision making on the last one. They did not have a land, or they accidentally skipped through it. They kept the hand. Okay, secure a tribe builder. Uh, okay, maybe I could see keeping the hand. Maybe. Samurai of the Pale Curtain. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So next turn we could play Strider or Healer, whichever we want. Or Cage of Hands, actually. Uh, or glass kite um let's go ahead and attack nah that's actually not I changed my mind Something big it is a moss kami. No attacks. Okay. So I think we're just going to end up playing not that. Cage of hands on you. Leave up the ability to bounce. And attack near.
protection from non spirits. Okay. This combat damage tap doesn't untap. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to end up casting Moonlit. Because it can block this fine. And I also just have some backup in case stuff goes wrong. Okay. Let's just auto yield this. This block's here, this block's here, and everything's fine. He would like to soul shift. He has a combat trick, he does not. Okay. We'll play first. I'll keep this. Turn three Blade Master is probably good enough to speculate on. And I get two looks at a land. An island in the first look lets me play the Cloud Skater. I think this is fine. Island would be a great draw. Okay, now we just need any land. Master actually does attack through Split Tail. Well, it doesn't attack through their own Blade Master, unfortunately. Well, that works. I will be requiring land at some point, though. Tommy Mirror Guard. Okay. Land? No. Okay. I can attack through this. Need a land, please. Also not something I can cast. Them leaving this back makes me skeptical, but I don't think I can afford to play around anything. Oh, they're just gonna okay. I guess it makes them use their mana, so that's something. One of their mana. I guess I could just flip the uh, cage of hands over to the flyer. The problem is if I draw land, <laughs> I'm not going to want to recast the cage of hands. And it's only saving me 
one damage. Land, land, nope, okay, so I guess we'll just hang back, pitch the Baku, man, pitch the Sift through Sands. Land. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now what do I do with this land? I think we're going to cast Cloud Skater. It blocks this. Um, and if they try to kill it, I can get some value by using the ability. If they try to kill this, this is first of all a better creature. And then I get no value. The odds of them having a spell seem just crazy high. that. I think we do this and try to save some damage. I guess I could Phantom Wings the Blade Master. Also play Moonlit Strider. Okay, let's play Moonlit Strider. No attack. That way, I, mean, I don't think they're going to hold that back. This is going to make phantom wings a lot better although I can't give it pro blue without knocking phantom wings off
Gosh, I wish I could double spell here. Okay. Go ahead. Mystic Restraints. Okay. Um. Yeah. And I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, that was a ridiculously long run of not drawing land. So. Anything I need to draw or want against him? Hmm, you only show me like one. Maybe I want like the lantern commie. That would have been reasonable there. And I don't think I need like anti spirit tech. I don't think I have any. They didn't have any like artifacts or enchantments. Well, they had that. Hmm. Is that worth pulling anything in for? Not really, I don't think. Uh, and then I would take out... Waxman actually seems fine here. Maybe seed. Okay, definitely play first. I will keep this. Okay. So, Cloud Skitter or Split Tail on turn two. Uh, Cloud Skate, I think. I guess if I played Miko, then I would have the option to instead play Cloud Skate and use Miko this turn, but. Should have brought in that artifact destruction then. Or artifact enchantment destruction, but. Okay, so I think we just go ahead and we're going to play the glass kite this turn. Strider can eventually free Blade Master. I guess that's one reason not to bother bringing in enchantment removal. because both of them were the type of thing that, uh... Hmm. Okay, I could just play my own. Or I could just wait. Well, I can never meek I can never use Miko for it, unfortunately. For Glass Kite. Hmm. I think I just go ahead and cage it. Mine's better. This guy still gets to block and stuff. He has his own removal and I can't bounce it right now. That sucks. Hmm. 
Okay, so I think what we do here is I'm going to attack with this. Then I'm going to play Split Tail. Yeah, no. Let's just play Moth Rider. Split Tail can't save Cloud Skate. Split Tail could save Moth Rider. But if I don't get a land, I wouldn't be able to use the ability and play Moth Rider to block. Also, I'm kind of fine racing on life when I have Honden here. So what, you're going to say this can't be blocked? And you're going to say that can't be blocked. Okay. Because you have something better to do with your three, apparently. Ah, okay. Ninja of the Deep Hours is pretty good. This will hold it back nicely, though. I think we'll just play Moonlit now. Oh, right. You can do that. Okay, well, I can't do anything about that. He's just going to get to draw cards. Double spell. do I do here? I think the answer might just be nothing, and I'm not sure that that sounds correct. Oh, he's going to draw so many cards. I don't even really have anything I can do about it.
Okay. So, now we have to do some stuff. Specifically, we are going to attack here. Prevent two damage. That's the only place to attack. Are you serious? Okay. Mm, prevent damage to you, I guess. They have a lot of really good enchantments. They're using all my tricks. And they're drawing so many cards. <laughs> <sighs> Shit, now they're gonna have two of those? Like, I don't even know what to do against two of those. These are really good guards. Something good? No. Okay, I can't even attack anymore. Um, I can't attack on the ground with this. There's literally not really anything I can do. So, let's start doing some of this. That is extremely unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of done on lands at this point. If we could, just don't really need them. So let's see how many are in my deck is a better question. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten right now.
They have to be contemplating a bigger attack, right? No? So, does my healer actually change the math on anything? Okay. Prevent two, prevent two. Okay. Let's say that I actually block with like all my flyers. They can prevent four damage. And I would be doing five damage. Okay. Wait, I also get Bushido. So I would be doing four, five. That's five damage. They could prevent four of it. This looks fine. They actually only even kill one of them. So that was an odd attack from them. Do they have something interesting in their hand that makes that... I don't know what that would be. Rain Shaper. Gain Shroud. Okay. Okay, so now I have healer. Couldn't use healer before, obviously, because it would have popped the shield, but. He has a second one. Wait, did he bounce it or. No. Ha what? <laughs> Shimmering Glass Guy, Bushido 1. Straight ninja. That, wait, did, does he have two ninjas? No. Where did his thing go? Wait, why is it an exile? Um. I. Oh, pale curtain. That's why I have pale curtain right now. Okay. So that can't be blocked. So I can't block it. <laughs> that is how that works. I guess I should have prevented damage to myself. That might come back to bite me. Phantom wings, huh? Okay. So let's say that I put phantom wings on really nothing, because they have this flyer, that flyer, I could use it to bounce something. Does that help me at all? Um, not really. So I guess let's do this. Still kind of good on those. Um, I could put it on, like, the best creature I have already flies. So that doesn't really help. I could just bounce. Yeah, I don't see how that helps me. And what I don't want to do is get behind on time.
probably too late on that one. Um, I guess I can die. Yep, that's basically about what is going to happen here. I mean, they can just rain shaper enough to get through, right? Pretty sure. Mystic restraints, okay. They can definitely get through. That sucks. Do I have cards in this deck? Not a lot. <laughs> well, let's see if I can at least get a refund. That's too bad. I thought this deck was potentially good. I wish I brought in the Grasp, but he only showed me the one the first time, right? Then he showed me like three more. See, so he had Threads of Disloyalty, he had two of the Tapping one, and he had the uh, Ghostly Possession style one. Yeah, I think he th showed me three more. Okay, I am on the draw, and what do we got? Hmm, this looks like a familiar hand. Especially on the draw, I think I keep this. But this hand is very, very similar. Two planes, the Blade Master and the Cloud Skater. So far, it's playing the same, too. I really do think keeping this hand is right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, let's pitch this. Okay, let's see what we can do with that. So this is actually a good blocker. You 
going to use this? No. Could have been bad. Okay. That is unfortunate. And I have a handful of fours. Need some land, land. Okay, okay. Uh, moonlit can free this, and it can block effectively. Paid for the ability. So we'll block here. And we'll go ahead and sock for you for blue. Okay. Um So we could play Callus and Cloudscape. That sounds decent. He can, of course, continue to use his ability, which will be unfortunate, but... Like, he could use it to just eat the Cloudscape... or Cloudskater. But then that is taking up three of his mana. He can use it to make this not be able to block his stuff. But he can't use it three times. Hard decision, apparently. Okay, this is, I assume, okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Kind of need to be sticking my spells. This probably now eats the Cloud Skater. No. Oh. Why doesn't it eat the Cloud Skater? Oh, wait, you didn't even attack with it. That was weird. Okay. Let's cast it again. Actually, played a land, so I should do this right now. Okay, mm let's pitch one of the healers, I guess. This is pretty good, so I would like to be able to cast that eventually. Uh, and go ahead. And the healers might just be too slow at this point. 
So I imagine that you probably want to use your decoy a little bit better this time. Okay. Twice, maybe? Yeah, okay. Not thrice. However, you don't get to tap them both. Uh, do I want to take five? The answer is probably no. So I probably chump here, and then I am forced to double block here. You only get to tap down one of them, though, and this will die. You have chosen to tap the right one. Wait, how does this work? Oh, it just hasn't happened yet? Wait, what happened? Does combat damage to a creature tap that creature it doesn't untap? Oh, right, it died in first strike! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it died in first strike. I forgot about that. Okay. So, let's put this down. He's got to be a little bit unhappy. Yeah, Blade Master has first strike. It never got to do the damage. Was not factoring that in. His decoy has been very bad. Okay. Five mana draw two is not exactly the most exciting. Have I stabilized? No, I'm dead. Okay, cool. I actually thought I was stable. That was really unfortunate. Okay. After all of his mistakes, too, he doesn't even get punished for it. Um. I don't think there's anything I need to change. Maybe Defiance is fine. He had a lot of, yeah, okay. Defiance is probably fine. Take this out as usual and go ahead. I would like to play first. I'd like a good hand. That's not it. This hand is fine. Yeah, okay. Gives me a turn two play, maybe. Probably not, but. I can't believe after I just got the Honden Dumb, too. So I guess this 5 mana draw 2 was potentially really interesting. So if you play a spirit this turn, I can counter it. Nope. Okay. I will be playing my Blade Master. Draw two. Okay. Mm, I think I might just wait. I don't think getting the Callus Deceiver down is that important. That doesn't help. Uh, might he think that I have a trick? He might. Was basically not costing me anything. He thought I had the trick, or did not think I had the trick. That's fine. Play this dude. Okay.
Oh, maybe I should have brought in the Grasp. He did have the uh, Mystic Restraints. Shedding Glass Kite. That is a good one. Hmm. regret not leaving the counter up. Last turn, I don't. I don't think I should have left the counter up last turn. Even though it would have been really good. Um, because I wasn't getting anywhere. I might regret not leaving it up this turn. Because I was just playing the Honden, but... Okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I think we probably just want to cage of hands this and tack in the air. Hold my counter. These two together do actually kill Glass Guide. I mean, assuming I have that on the top of my library, if I have a land. Another Teller of Tales. Yeah, I guess I'll counter that. That could get pretty annoying. One's already pretty annoying. Is this implied that he's going to attack out? It does. That probably means that he has a follow up blocker. No. Okay, something good. Healer. I think I do actually attack. Since he can tap stuff with this, I can't even assume that I'm going to be able to block that. And this essentially means with the Honda that we're trading 4 for 4. Which is kind of nice, I guess. What was on top? Yeah, healer. Okay. Does healer let me do anything interesting? Not really.
guess healer does let me pop the glass kite shield and then I can move cage of hands over it's a bit white mana intensive for my one plane but He's not attacking with glass kite. Why would he not attack with glass kite? Could that be a mistake? Huh. As much as I'd love to put Strider out, I then wouldn't be able to... Four, and it would be against... This gets what? One O, oh, so it would be against six. Yeah, I guess we just say go and see what he does. I'm not sure what to think about jetting Glasskite no attack. Maybe he'll respect? I mean, this is on the board. If he attacks, I mean, do I even go for it? Or maybe he's just gonna tap shit. And that's why he doesn't care. He's drawing. Wait, why didn't he get a Teller of Tales trigger? Maybe you could have a spirit or arcane spell. Oh, was he like still paying costs or something? He must have been. Okay. So I guess that explains. Well, it doesn't explain why he didn't attack last time. But it does make me very curious. I'm only going to get to cast two t things now. Ah, I should have just played one of my creatures. Yeah, he's going to tap a lot of stuff. Wait, what, what just happened? Oh, he's spliced on it. Oh, shit. I I didn't even see that. There's, like, no visual indication. Oh, wait, is this... What is this? I can't even see it? Is it here? Veil of Secrecy. Return... Target creature gets shroud. Can't be blocked. Oh, okay. I couldn't have responded to it anyway. It was part of the cost. It's the splice. I thought this was, like, a bounce spell or something. Uh, Shroud can't be blocked. Okay. So he's going to bring his dumb thing back, and it's going to be dumb. Okay, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and take a peek. I 
Okay, that's not the worst. Uh, I guess we just passed the turn. I definitely don't have attacks now. He has tons of cards in his hand. He'll get to recast his teller and then probably trigger it. Wait, no. Why does he not think that I have something this turn? I don't, but I don't see why he would think that. Maybe he wants to defensive tap? So, I do actually have enough at this point to block your dumb thing. It's unfortunate I don't get to soul shift into anything, but it's also unfortunate I don't know the top part of my library. These are all unfortunate. Does this have stuff spliced on it? Is that why this hasn't triggered? I don't understand what's going on. Because I have nowhere targeting this. It does not have any splice. So if this is on the stack, it's been cast. Why is this not triggered? Wait, it just did. Wait, was he still paying costs? Okay, so he casts this. It does not have anything spliced on it. He's trying to tap that. What are the odds that he has exactly what he needs? So I think I'm just going to sack this and give something pro blue. So this means he gets to tap another thing. Why are these taking so see I actually don't even have priorities. What's weird? Is he like trying to splice stuff? But maybe splice is consuming vortex onto that is the return of creature shit. Okay. The splice interface must be what's making this stuff's so weird. So that gets returned. Are you going to forget to use your decoy? Because I'd be done with that. No, you're not. Okay. Well, that was extremely disappointing for what I thought was an okay deck.
maybe I will get another one of these in, but it's getting a little bit late. I mean, obviously not tonight, but just like in the league. I really thought that one was going to be better. I think I just don't understand this format. I mean, it's ridiculously crazy slow. I don't know how I'm not adapting to that, though. Hmm. I don't know. I'll think about it. Uh, until then, thanks for watching.